guys, I share command today, Ray Shadow Legends. Welcome to the video. Glad to have you all here with me today. Oh, it is my lucky day. It's my lucky week. It's my lucky month. It is the year of Ash 2024, guys, because you know what happened to me? Has it ever happened to you? I did a remnant summon off air. I did it off air. Very confident. Almost too confident? Shame on me. You know, I've probably gotten, uh, I don't know, five of these or whatever so far. Six, I don't know. I pulled a bunch, right? And I've recorded actually a few of them because it's the best chance that we have to get a mythical champion, right? Even on a 2x event, it's still 1% chance to get a mythical out of a primal shard. Well, we have a 2.5% here. Obviously, that's still pretty slim. Anyway, I summoned... <laughs> I summoned, I was on play and play on the PC. I was like multitasking at work. And then I even missed the mythical, you know, intro. And I look over and what do I see from my cursed remnant summon? I had to, I had to, uh, I had to screenshot it instead of record it. I got Star Sage Galathy! To stop and obey. Without me? Really? Now rest can shine. Joker's got silver lining Holy Mary sings songs in the wet rain Walk ahead mm. Now every new day is a new fire Arm to my teeth, call me a liar Oh my god, guys, I was so incredibly lucky and happy And stupid He is, in my opinion, in a, in a lot of people's opinion, I would say Overall, the best champion in all of Raid Shadow Legends here, and it's not even that close. He's that insanely good. If you don't know what he does in today's video, I know, you know, mythical champions, I, I have a hard time, other than maybe Lady Mikage, talking about them or doing big dedicated videos, because I know not many of you guys have them. They're hard to get, and then, you know, you're, the odds are you getting the same one as, as me or anybody else are very slim as well. So what I want to do is take him into Live Arena, show you how I have him built. I want to talk about what he does. I want to get your opinion in the comments below. Is he really the best champion in all of Raid Shadow Legends? If not, well, if so, yeah, let me know about it. If not, who would you rather have than Star Sage Galathir? Let me know in the comments below. Now, he's number one in PvP, but even in PvE, he's very, very close. So what does he do? We're going to go over his kit quickly. He has a lot of speed. 115, obviously notable. His survivability is great, too. 20, 20, 20, 20. What? 22k on the HP. All right, he's an AOE on his A1. Fills a turn meter of all allies by 10%. Also fills a turn meter of each ally by an extra 5% if they have any active buffs placed on them by this champion. Well, hell, that's a really good A1 on his base form. On the A2, we're removing all debuffs from all allies. So we have a cleanse and we have a 25% heal based on his max HP. We also have a turn meter fill by 15% and a block debuff for two turns on a three-turn cooldown when booked. On his A3, part of the veil revives all dead allies, 50% HP, 50% turn meter, and a perfect veil for two turns on a four-turn cooldown. So it's the revival, 50%, 50%, and perfect veil on the four. On the Eternal Beyonder, his passives are both incredibly strong, so we need to spend some time on them. Passive effect, this champion receives 5% less damage for each 100 resist on this champion, stacks up to 25%. Resist is going to be huge on this champion for reasons that will be very obvious after we review his kit. Prevents his champion's death and keeps him alive with one HP when we're saving fa fatal damage. Then equalizes their HP. The HP level of this champion will be brought up to the average HP level of the team. So instead of just an unkillable or whatever, we're preventing the death and then we're basically healing him to the average of the team as well, right? And we're mitigating his damage received. Now let's go to the second form. Se first form is all about support. Cleansing, reviving, veils, control, survivability, excuse me, not control, survivability. The second part is all about control, okay? On the A1 of second form, attacks all enemies again. So an AoE on the A1 on both forms here. You can throw them in a curse set and Hydra, do crazy things, right? Decrease the target's turn meter of all enemies by 10%. 
Decrease the turn meter of each enemy by an additional 5% if they're under block active skills. Decrease resistance or a stun, which he has, obviously, placed by this champion. On the A2, attacks all enemies before attacking, removes all buffs from all enemies. Then place a block active skills for two turns. It will not trigger counterattacks as well, so safe to use against like a Taurus and Mrichka or anybody else for that matter. Three turn cooldown. A3, an increased accuracy on all allies, a decreased resistance on all enemies, and then a stun on all enemies. So he's got stuns, decreased resistance, increased accuracy, all to help land the stuns, right? And the block active skills, the buff removal, you name it, he's got it. Increases champion's accuracy equal to 75% of their resistance when placing debuffs or activating instant effects. So all we have to do is build him with a bunch of resistance, no accuracy required. Oof, that makes him tough to kill, even tougher to kill with his passive on his, on his main. If an enemy's accuracy is higher than this champion's resistance, we have a 50% chance of transferring fear, true fear, freeze, provoke, sleep, stun, and petrification back onto the enemy. Oh my god. It's pretty nasty. This guy is insane. He has resistance in all battles, so he can further boost up his resistance. All right, that spoil is way too long to go over. This is the thing with these mythicals, right? Going over their kit, you're just like spending half the video, it feels like. They, they do so much. So obviously, I built him with a ton of resist, almost 300k power, uh, probably the highest player power I've ever had on a champion on my account. Let me show you the stats really quick that we're going to be rocking here. 90k on the HP, 4300 on the defense. Now, now, it's not super, super tanky. It's nice, but it's not like God, God tier because we're making a big sacrifice for the resistance, which we're able to do in the speed, which we're able to do because of that survivability that he brings, especially on his base form. Now, we have 335 speed. We have 763 resist. And notably, he's in a four-piece stone skin. So he's in four-piece stone skin. If he doesn't go first, we're totally cool. If he gets locked out, we go to the alternate form. We CC the enemy team. Uh, we can keep him in the base form if we want to. We can, you know, support and revive and yada, yada, yada. Stone skin, four-piece, righteous, righteous uh, to complement for more resistance as well. Uh, we have resist on the banner, HP on the stone skin, uh, amulet HP on the stone skin ring. We have stone skin HP percentage on the gauntlets. We have resistance on the chest and we have speed with more speed on the boots all right we went polymorph and on masteries on masteries we went down and we picked up unshakable and lasting gifts i will say one thing about the polymorph on galafir though increases champions accuracy equals to 75 percent of their resistance when placing debuffs or activating instant effects i'm assuming that placing debuffs includes a sheep off of a blessing, but I actually do not know that for certain because he's not six star awakened, he's five star. My concern here is I hope it doesn't go off his accuracy you know, uh, I hope it goes off his resist, 75% of his resistance plus his accuracy, which I assume to be the case. Anyway, guys, let's go ahead and jump into it here. Before we go into Live Arena really quickly, I want to go ahead and go to Doom Tower, put together a really fun team. I'm not going to show you the entire team because we'll be here a while, four or five minutes, but I put them with some of my favorite epics and a rare. A little nod to maybe my next video on the channel. Good old Bellower's on the squad. And let me tell you, want to take a look at the blessing I have on Bellower? Yeah, we're gonna save that for the next video, but he's insane. All right, speaking of insane, I'm on for 119 of Doom Tower, hard, and I have a rare and a few epics, granted all really good champions, right? But I only have, I purposely only have one support. Only one dude on the team who can heal, only one dude on the team who can revive, as you can see right there, and uh, he's gonna basically do it all. Now I'm showing you this right now to show you the power of him in his just base form, right? And I'm not even sure if I have his base form skilled out, honestly. I think I don't. I think I don't. I'm out of mythical skill tomes either way. Uh, but I definitely have his alternate form skilled up. Uh, definitely going to be top priority to do so. So this is cool, right? You might be thinking already, dude, Ash, man, you're already wiping here, bro. Dude, you cannot kill Star Sage. First of all, you can't do anything to him. He's going to resist absolutely everything uh, because of his insane resist, right? And we're running him as the aura lead, so he has 850 or so resistance with that aura. There he goes. He's going to keep reviving everybody, and then he's going to come in with the A2 and heal everybody. You might be thinking right now, but wait, he's almost dead. He's not going to die. You can't kill this dude because every time you get him to the point where you're going to kill him, He'll equalize his HP with everybody else, 
and he'll be right back in the game. He'll be right back in the fight, right? I wanted to kind of wait to see if he was even, you know, ever close to death here. You can see these mobs, they hit hard. I mean, we don't care. And we're only rocking base form here. If we had, I, originally I had this team with Tagore on it as well. If we had Tagore on the team, we could switch forms and we could keep CCing and buff stripping and stunning and everything the enemy team as well. But I just wanted to kind of illustrate how crazy he is just on his base right now uh, to start out because we're going to see a lot of his alternate form in just a minute here when we get to the live arena. So he's built for uh, live arena, obviously, in the stone skin. Uh, but check that. Oh, he actually got feared there by a Mashald who is a spirit affinity matchup. So that's no good, but we're going to be fine. It's not going to be. We're not going to worry here. Nothing to worry about. You still can't kill him. Even if he loses his turn, we're going to be okay. So good old Bellower is going to go down. First, we're going to heal up. No, nah, maybe Bellower stay up for a little bit, right? Well, anyway, guys, let me, let me, I think you get the point. He's really good. Let's check this out. Take some hits. He's going against a bunch of Rotuses, man. They can't even crit critical hit on him, you know? He's resisting everything, all these debuffs. We don't care about it. He comes back in there. Even though his HP is low again, it doesn't matter. Watch, watch this. Here we go. He's about to die. And there, did he, did he even get it yet? I don't think so. There, oh, he's gonna heal himself. Anyway, guys, I'll come back to you at the end of this battle. All right, guys, here we are at the end of the battle. Look at Galath here, 1.2 million on the heels. No big deal. We have Tuok the Wanderer in Whisper. Look at Tuok, almost a million in the uh, in the damage department. I love Tuok, and I have him plus four empowered, man. Uh, these I, I purposely picked two of my two of my four, I think, fully empowered epics so far. But I'm really close. I have a bunch of threes. So just a matter of you know collecting those champions that I. Probably use this food a hundred times over the years. Some of those epics that I want to continue to empower. Anyway, guys, let's go ahead and jump into live arena. Alright guys, here we are in live arena. Alright guys, here we are at live arena. We're alright guys, so here we are in the arena. Alright guys, here we are in live arena. It's not my day, bro. It's not my freaking day. Two hours later. All right, guys, here we are in live arena. Let's go ahead and get a match in here and uh, might have to edit a little bit. And I hope they don't ban Galathir. Uh, we'll see what happens here. So I'm at 4881 right now. Uh, really, I'm around 600 or so in the global rankings. I really have a goal to get to uh, to get to around uh, top 50, you know, but it'd be nice if they actually did seasons or reset or something because it's uh, it's a long way away. So I'm gonna go in with Galathir just so they don't draft him. Usually I would probably go Armands and kind of adjust from there, but they're gonna go Armands and Crixia probably. Uh, they could go King and Queen. They go Armands and Siffy. Okay, that's cool. I'm gonna go with Crixia and I'm gonna go with uh, Lazarius. We'll go super, super pay to win. This is a very free to play friendly video here, guys. Just all mythicals all the time. <laughs> they have an Arbiter, a Taurus as well. Uh, we're gonna go with King and Queen. There we go. All right. So we have King, Queen, Crixia, Galathir, and Lazarius. So hopefully they don't ban Star Sage. I'm gonna ban, uh, man, they have no Polymorph, it's crazy. I'm actually gonna ban, ooh, who do I wanna ban here? I don't need to worry so much about, I'm gonna ban, I think I actually, I, I have an arm. Ah, you're ruining my video! <laughs> you're ruining my video, man. I'm just gonna be real with you guys. I've tried recording a live arena match like 10 times in a row, and they've banned him every time. <laughs> this wasn't the first time that I cut to live arena. I guess I'm gonna go into classic arena with him. He's been banned every time I've tried to use him uh, so far on this recording. So uh, you can enjoy a nice uh, intermission, you know, a, a nice live arena match before your very eyes right now. Or you can just fast forward to Classic Arena. I am in Platinum Classic Arena, so it should still be good teams and stuff like that. But yeah, man, I, I can't. Uh, he's very, very popular ban, as uh, you guys can't tell. All right. So I'll talk you through the team and, and what we're going to be trying to do here. Uh <laughs> I just can't believe this, man. It's 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 really silly. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and go in with a buff. That way we can revive uh, and then come in here and uh, and save the revive on White Queen. Then we'll switch forms on the next round uh, and we'll be good to go. Let's go ahead and come in and let's do a turn meter increase for my squad. 
And then let's nuke him down with Narciss, right? Not bad, not bad. So we're in a really good position here, obviously. All we have to do is basically Lazarius in a two-turn stone skin. He just needs to switch forms and nuke, and it should be over. We'll see. Boom. All right, guys, let's go to... Cl Actually, you know what? There's enough time for one more. There's seven minutes, 70 gems. How could you say goodbye? Let's do one more. Let's do it. Let's do it. Li live arena. One more try. All right, guys, we got Lucifer here. Oh, man, I don't even know what to do anymore. I don't even know what to do anymore. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go Armands, and if they go Galath here, we're gonna go into, we're gonna, we're gonna go right into Classic Arena. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I'm okay. Good. Good. We might actually have a shot, guys. We might actually have a shot here. All right, let's go Galath here. Let's go uh, Crixia. I'm not even sure because I've tried this. Uh, <laughs> Tried this so many times, I'm not even sure if I told you guys yet, but we have a... No, Lazarius actually worked out really well for us last time. Let's use him again. All right. I have a high resist build, obviously, in Star Sage. I also have a very high resist build on Crixia, okay? Uh, to basically counter Armands, because Crixia can't be stunned, so you can counter everything else. Uh, or hope to. So they have absolutely no Polymorph, which is incredible. It's amazing. I love it. I'm going to ban... Jeez, I'm gonna ban Makage. Uh, they ban, it's, it's a miracle. It's a miracle, guys. We can do this. We can do it. I'm gonna come in here and because they have Sun Wukong, I am gonna go resist on the aura. I figured they'll probably go, actually, pro I don't know if they'll go first or not. We'll see, we'll see. Let's get a win. Let's get a win. Let's show Star Sage. Let's, <laughs> let's have some fun here. All right, so they go first, Arbiter. Turn meter boost into Elva. Two strong revivers. They hand it off to Taurus. So what are they gonna? Are they gonna uh, pop off Narciss? I guess right now, not the end of the world. Lucifer, there we go. Okay, so Narciss not dead. We go in there. Well, there's no polymorph to worry about. This is gonna be an easy one. So what I can do here is really just I can switch immediately to second form, and I can basically put them on 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 lockdown here, right? They have no mythical, so I might as well just go in with the A3. Nothing to worry about in terms of polymorph. So I have a decreased resistance. I have a stun, and now I have an increased resistance on all of my team. Now we can easily just switch forms and give them a little nuke to the face, and this one will be almost over. Now it will be over. Uh, or very close to, right? Let's go switch forms here. Let's uh, do a turn meter fill. Let's go in with the A2. And again, we come in now A2. You can see the ba how powerful the stun, the remove buffs, the block active skills. You know, it's 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 really good. Go in there and that's it. Sun Wukong and we're done. Oh man, guys, I got very lucky in this, uh, maybe not in this RNG at the end of the video, uh, but very lucky on this poll. Uh, man, he was my most wanted champion, obviously, in the game. I do think he's the best. What about you guys? I, I'll, I'll end this video where I started this video. And again, apologize for the, uh, <laughs> this isn't exactly the free-to-play account, although I am planning a video on the free-to-play account very, very soon. I think in the next three or four videos here. So be on the lookout for that one if you want a taste of not this. Uh, but let me know what you think of uh, of Galath here, guys. Do you agree? Do you think he's the best in the game? Is he your most wanted champion in the entire game? If you could start an account with anybody, would he be it? If not, let me know in the comments below who you would choose. Thank you for watching, and as always, take care, guys.